Okay, so this is a medium leak code um, problem, add two numbers. So basically they're giving us two linked lists um, with integers, non-negative, and they both will be non-empty, so we don't have to check for the edge case. Um, but they're stored in reverse order. So they want us to add both of these. So just think how you would add um, in Lasso, but really starting from the left. So seven, so five and two, seven uh, is 10, you'll carry the one, and four and three plus the carry over would be eight. So it's really three, four, two, four, six, five, four, six, five equals 807, but we're returning, they give it to us in reverse order and returning the answer in reverse order too. So, um, yeah, so I guess the main thing we need to take in consideration is the carry. And then also we're going to be looping through both of these link lists or traversing them. And then uh, we also need to make sure it's not null. And so we'll like pad it with uh, a zero. <laughs> if, it's, if it's null, we'll just say the value is zero while we're looping through it. And then um, we're gonna use a dummy node. So it's like a, a common um, uh, way to solve link list problems. And so Usually I just, since it's uh, supposed to have non-negative values, I just put negative one. I usually do it negative one anyways, but yeah, kind of makes sense as they said. Um, there's non-negative integers, but yeah. But also we're gonna have a current. So so the main reason we're having a dummy um, is so we can return the next node because we're using this current to traverse so this would be like our link list that will have our answer. Um, so each digit. Um, but we have to traverse this too to be able to add it to each next node. Um, so we need to keep uh, track of the head node. So that's why we're using dummy. A dummy node is what they call it. Um, they might call it something else. But yes, like a common thing. Usually we turn dummy.next at the end. Um, yeah, and then we'll also have, uh, we'll just say temp1 equals L1. And then, um, or we'll do, uh, we'll do temp2 equals L2. And then what else? So we also need to have our carry. And we'll set that by zero to, uh, to zero. Um, and then we'll loop through it using a while loop. So yeah, while um, temp1 is not equal to null, uh, can't say, or uh, temp2 is not equal to null. So one thing using, about using or and having both of these is that um, one of them could be null, so uh, that's what I'm saying we had to pad it. And there's not really a ternary operator. You want to do it in one line, but you could do if else in one line in Kotlin. So, um, yeah, I would do val1, I guess, with the first one. So it's temp1. Uh, so, with, so, yeah, we'll use if else. If temp1, we'll just check again. <laughs> if temp1 is null, it's not equal to null. Um, return temp1. We have to use the back ticks uh, because val is like a reserved keyword to Kotlin. And <laughs> they named it val. They should have named value or something. I don't know. Um, but else we'll return zero and then it'll be the same thing um, for uh, the temp2. So we'll do uh, and then we'll do temp1 and then yeah so and then so that will give us the values but then we also uh, so now we need to add the sum. So the sum will be equal to one plus two plus carry, in case we have a carry. Then we also need to get the carry of the current um, uh, sum. So the sum uh, divided by 10. So really anything, if it's bigger than 10, it will give us the, um, basically the the amount, the value to carry. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. And then, um, 
Yeah, because if it's less than zero, well, integer world, if it's less than 10 anyway, it's going to be zero. So, yeah. And e any, either way, it will always be, um, yeah, for carrying it, it will always be bigger. Or at least be one, yeah. So, if we're going one by one, yeah, yeah. Because, I mean, unless they have, oh, it's range one through 100. Okay. Oh, the number of nodes, but it's one through nine, so yeah. Okay, yeah. And then, so, um, after that, we'll set the current to, um, and care will be for the next iteration, in case we need to add it. And then, so, uh, for current, we'll add, uh, we'll, so we'll do current.next. We're at dummy right now, Start if you're at the first one. And then, so we'll do list node, and then we'll do sum, uh, mod 10 which of course will give you like uh, the last digit if it's a two digit uh, <laughs> sum or if not anyways it'll give you the whatever the actual value is um, and then we'll also check again if temp1 I can't type it's not equal to null and if so we'll do temp1 what's temp1.next we'll just move it up and then we'll do the same thing. Uh, for attempt two. And then, so yeah, yeah. And then we also need to move, regardless, we need to move current up one. Current equals current dot next. And then we'll, uh, see so yeah, at the end of that, uh, when we, once we reach the end of both of those, there could be a carry at the end, so we need to also handle that. Um, so yeah, we'll just check if carry uh, is bigger than zero. Then we'll current dot current equals or current dot next equals list node, and we'll just add carry since that'll be the only value left, anyways. Um, yeah, that should be good. Let me see. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'll just run it. So. That looks good. I'll use the example test cases just to make sure. Yeah, it looks good. So I'll submit it. Oh, yep, it's good too. So, yeah, um, yeah, that's what is it? Add two numbers. That's the medium question number two on leak code. 